Hi guys, Declaration Dan here, and here comes how to hook up my camera to my telescope, part two. Uh, now, I believe, Dan, we got another camera over here, this big monster over oh, here. Got yours. Oh, well, let's, yeah, actually, let's talk about mine first, guys. I'm going to hold it up to the main camera here for a second. Guys, I have the ZWO. ASI 290MC camera. It's a color camera. It's a CCD CMOS. It's type a CMOS. Of, it's a CMOS type of camera. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's the oh, sorry, wrong way. ASI 290MC color CMOS camera. I'm gonna let Dan talk about it in a little bit. Well, the ZWO just came on the scene, I guess, two or three years ago, maybe. Um, and they've exploded. Yeah, they're blowing up the scene. On, onto the scene, and I actually met. Um, the people that have the, the CFO and the CEO of ZWO at Neef two years ago when they were okay. first coming out, and they are really smart people, man. I don't know if everybody who makes all these cameras are just as smart, right? But these guys blew me away with what they were doing. Great and, product, guys. You know, it, it, it's cheaper. Yeah, this is only two hundred ninety nine dollars. This one, it just, like I think I said, it's two sixty nine now. Yeah, it's on sale <laughs> now. For like two sixty nine, you can get it. Yeah, that's, Sorry, that's the way it goes. <laughs> so yeah, you know things depreciate or go on sale, and right. it just happens. But it's a CMOS camera, um, which means the chips are smaller. They get more noise, right? More than, than the noise, CCD right. does, but they're made in a way that you could do it, use it on any silicon based chip, right? And, and it makes it a lot smaller, but it makes it more inexpensive. Exactly. So they're cheaper to produce, guys, and to get good quality photos. I mean, they will do its job. And they are uh, eventually, or they are or will catch up to uh, probably CCD cameras. But yeah, they will. But, well, obviously, with that, the cost is going to probably go up as well. So. Uh, of course. I hope not, but you know, no, not as much as <laughs> But uh, CCD technology has been around for. I mean, is, I'm is. old, so think of this. Oh, you're just it's old. But yeah, almost, <laughs> you know, almost. The, the CCD cameras that we used to have for closed circuit television. Correct. I mean, Correct. way back in the day. They, I mean, this technology's been around for 30 yeah, years. Exactly. CMOS technology only came on the scene five, ten years ago. Right. Now, I could be wrong on that, but I mean, you know, it's very recent. This is this is a great planetary cam, guys. Uh, I'm actually using it for DSOs to, so, you know, dip my toes and get my feet wet. Let's call it and. Uh, Deep space objects, uh, but it's mostly is this ZWO camera is mostly for planetary use, guys. Yeah, a lot of people actually have this type of uh, the 290. A lot uh, of people no, are starting to buy this. Go look online, guys. You'll see forums and millions of questions. Yeah, all, all, all about the ZWOs, it. right? Yeah, the ZWO is taking over. <laughs> We're not endorsed in any way by ZWO yeah, no, slash no, no, no. John Ryan, anybody, guys. Um, one thing that we did have an issue though with with the was it the one the one twenty the one twenty and and guys if you had this issue please comment at the bottom let us know because yeah. we've well, had a huge issue especially with the SE line the Celestron yeah. SE line of telescopes Getting and the, which one was the one twenty correct the ASI one twenty MC put it this way ZWO you take the camera actually you take the eyepiece you get in the eyepiece you focus it up you're in you're dead center take this. Put it in, refocus, object isn't there. Not even in the scene. Not even close. Yeah, not even in the IP um, or camera view. Yeah, so so not even there. So uh, I, 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 I mean, it's the a chip very was small centralized, chip. It's but the chip is very small. very small chip, guys. The 290 is a little better. I'm having a lot easier time of getting yeah. it in there, believe it or not. And the new mount, the Orion Atlas, is definitely helping out with that as well. Yeah, and once you go to plate solving, all that becomes moot. Yeah, anyway, I'm working so. on that. I'm this close. So, so that's thanks to Dan and Chuck uh, from Chuck's yeah. Astrophotography's help. Chuck actually uses this one, right? No, he uses, oh, he uses the, a cold one. Yeah, he he has a couple. He's got the sixteen hundred. Yeah, he's well, his main yeah. cameras, I believe, the uh, sixteen hundred uh, cooled one yeah. mono. He's got yeah, filter, it's a filter we has now, but I know yeah, he so had... that's about 1290 But I believe I he had the 224 ASI or yeah, whatever 224. he yeah, used for planetary. His Jupiter pictures came out fantastic with that, so... Uh, yeah, Chuck's from Chuck's Astrophotography uh, oh, on by, Facebook. By the way, Astronomy is hosting Chuck's Monkey Head yes, picture. Yes, yeah, the Monkey Head Nebula. And, and it's just outstanding, so congratulations to Chuck on that nice yep. job. 